What does it mean to rearrange one's mindset to allow miracles to happen? This is something I've been contemplating because it came up for me major within the past week, um, specifically around money and um, needing money and a fear of not having enough money. And um, what kept coming up for me is I would notice myself feeling fear and feeling needy of money. And I'd be like, where, what is this, where is, where is this coming from? What's the story underlying these emotions that I'm feeling? And let's say the story is that, um, you know, I don't have enough money to pay my rent. Let's say that that's the, that's the story behind my emotion of um, a fear. And what that story says is that I don't have enough money to pay rent. And it's, it sounds very concrete. Like it sounds like very set, like, you know, I could even look in my wallet or look on my bank account and be like, yep, there is not enough money to pay rent. So that's the story that I'm, that I'm telling, that I'm telling myself. Um, and to break out of that, I sort of have to take a huge step back and think about my existence. Think about my spirituality. Think about God. And when I do that, when I take a huge step back, the thought that comes to mind for me is, well, I'm a God-believing person. I believe in God. I believe in spirit. Is that true? Yes, that is true for me. I believe in God. I believe in spirit. Okay, cool. Now, do I believe that God can do anything? Anything. Do I believe that God is all-powerful? Yes, that is true for me. Okay, great. Now, do I believe that this circumstance with the rent, that God could resolve it? That that's that's something God can do? Well, if I go back to my other belief, which is that God is all-powerful, then the answer to that will be yes, yes. Okay, cool. Now, if that is the case, then, and that happened right now, considering my prior story, that would be miraculous if God just suddenly resolved my rent for me. Yes, yes, that would be miraculous. Okay, okay. So, in order for miracles to occur in order for this miracle to potentially take place what do I need to change about my mindset well the change would be that right now I don't have the money to pay my rent but I believe and have faith that God can resolve it for me I believe and have faith that this circumstance will work out, even though I can't see how it could, and I don't know how it will. That doesn't mean that it's not possible, because anything is possible in the realm of spirit. Anything's possible when you are 
put your faith and trust in God and you surrender to that. The process I just went through with um, with you right now is very similar to the process I went through about a week ago um, on my drive from Arizona to Florida. And this really, really helped me get through a seemingly like harrowing and painful journey. And what I ultimately took away from that is that we don't leave enough space in our lives. We don't give up enough control in our lives to allow for miracles to occur, to allow for God and spirit to act in our lives um, in miraculous ways. We try to control everything, get the itinerary down to a T, uh, plan every little single thing out, um, you know, have all these expectations of the way things exactly have to be. And a lot of times that's to, that's out of fear and that's to mitigate problems and And it's because of underlying stories that we have about what will happen or what is happening. And so we do these things to try to mitigate unfortunate circumstances. So what I offer to you is to consider how the stories that you tell yourself allow for miracles to happen in your life or not. Having miraculous change, miraculous things happen in our lives is possible for every single person. It's all a matter of if we can give up enough control and have enough faith in God to actually allow those things to come into our lives and act for us. And that can be really scary. I know that it was for me. I've never had to have that much faith before in my life. And it was terrifying. But whenever I came back to my center and prayed and checked in with spirit, I was reassured that everything would be okay. And sometimes I didn't believe it. And I kept checking and checking in. I kept getting the same thing. And it will get easier the more that we surrender and the more that we connect with, you know, our spirit, our God. And the more that we have faith and trust. That'll get easier. But we have to start somewhere. And we have to start where we're at. How is this hitting for you? When I say these things, what comes up for you? What emotions come up? What thoughts come up? What stories come up? And I encourage you to try this. Like generally sit down with yourself. Do it in your head or write it down and try this. And then let me know what the outcome is, what insights you come to, um, what your process is. I would love to connect with you on that and see how this process I came to um, is experienced by others. So thank you for listening and participating. Thank you.